If you are a Linux user then you have to experience the features and usability of a terminal, and also a terminal is pretty much useful in terms of penetration testing. What if you can use the Linux terminal on an Android device, then you can use the terminal, as usual, you use it on Linux. Hey there, in this video you are going to learn the usage of Termix, and also you are going to learn some of its basic features. Before getting started make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If not yet to then click the subscribe button now. And also press the bell icon to stay tuned whenever I upload a new video. First of all, you have to download it from F-Droid. If you try to get it from Play Store, then you never got any upgradation. Before working with Termix, we will know what is it? What is Termix? Termix is an Android terminal emulator, and Linux environment that works directly without rooting, or any other setup required. A minimal base system is installed automatically, additional packages are available using the APT package manager. To know more about Termix then go and visit the official site. Some frequently basic queries that taken place, when the word comes. Question 1. Does Termix useful for hacking? My answer is yes, you can hack through Termix. There are several hacking tools available for hacking. But I usually used it as a server to host a malicious and suspicious site. There is a video where I have explained how I host a website directly from Termix. If you have not yet watched the video before click that i button and watch it now. Question 2. Does Termix requires root permissions? No, I have already mentioned these at starting. If your device is already rooted, you can do some advanced level, if not then don't worry about all about this. Question 3. Can I became a hacker by using Termix app? With the tool, we can only become skint, not a full stack hacker. Question 4. Is Termix useful for programmers? Of course, it will be helpful, but limited. Question 5. Can I use Termix to hack websites? Yes, you can perform hacking through Termix. Question 6. Can I hack Facebook, Gmail, Instagram using Termix? Yes, you can. Only if you know which tool you should use. Question 7. Can I hack an Android phone with Termix? Yes, you can hack using Metasploit framework in Termix. Not only Android smartphones you can do even more with Metasploit. Question 8. Can I hack Wi-Fi through Termix? No, it is not possible. Question 9. Can I hack everything with Termix? It depends on your knowledge. Now let's move on to the Termix. If you are new here, then you need to update the repository. So let's do them one by one. Next, we install a few useful packages like root repository, unstable repository, and the x11 repository. First of all, let's install the root repo. Next, Install the unstable repo. Next is the x11 repo. Each and everything is fully updated and we are ready to move to the next step. If you already have basic knowledge of Linux terminal then it is simple to use the Termix. If you have any problem with it, then comment to me below, I will help you at my level. If you want to install any package then run pkg install in the name of the package. Let's see with an example, if you want to install git then type package install git and then hit enter. Here you can see the successful message, and you are now ready to use the git command. If you have ever visited my blog then here you can find few tools and their usage with the installation step.
If you want to learn more about the tool click on the link and you can find your answer. Using these tools you can visualize the ASCII message. There is a tool called the C matrix, which is used to visualize the hacking showcase. To install this use package install C matrix. Now run C matrix hyphen A hyphen capital B to visualize the matrices. If we talk about the text editor, you can find VI in Nano. One important thing Nano is not comes pre-installed with Termix, you have to install using the package manager. If we talk about the usage of Nano, just type Nano in the name of the file and you get a text editor on your terminal. If you want to save this, just press Ctrl plus X and type Y and then hit Enter to save this. If I talk about networking, it is pretty similar to Linux. Similar to Linux you can check your IP address using the ifconfig command. Now, next move on to the programming language. To install any tool for any purpose, you have to install the languages like Python 3, PHP, and others. Here on my website, you can find each installation command. If you want to get information, you have to read it carefully. Now, we next talk about Termix API. This is a plugin used to expose the Android API to command line usage and scripts or programs. First of all, you have to download the plugin from Android and install it. Now go back to Termix and install the Termix API package. Now Termix API is fully set up and ready to use. If you visit the Termix wiki page you can find each command from here. Let's try with a command. Now next we are going to learn some hacking skills with the help of Termix. If you want to use the Termix as a hacking device, I prefer you to install the Kali Night Hunter. The installation is quite simple just follow this video, click the i button to watch it now. Why I prefer Kali Night Hunter? Usually, a Kali is coming pre-installed with huge hacking tools that can be used to perform our attack. But installing the Kali tools one by one is a time taking work, I prefer to install it. If you have installed it, then you can use it to create a malicious application using Metasploit to attack a device. Or you can use the SQL map to hack the website database and many more such things as usual to PC. But I usually use Termix to host a phishing site. Let's see how. I am here going to use Shellfish to fish victims' username and password of their social media account. First of all, you have to clone the GitHub link. Type ls to list all files and directories. Now from here change the directory to shellfish. Now run the shell file. Here you can see, it asks you to choose from the option. Here choose the ngrock server. It will take a time to process, if it is your first time, and then you see a link. If the victim clicks the link and log in using the username and password, you can see it on your Termix. There are a few other usages of Termix, but I can't show you here. If you have any doubts and queries about my video, just write me below in my comment section.